Often God uses the ordinary things of life, and that's good, because most of us are ordinary. So was William Miller. Timothy Cole was pastor of a Christian Connection Church in Massachusetts. In the late 1830s, he heard of Miller's outstanding success as a preacher, and so Cole invited him to hold a series of meetings at his church. He went to greet the successful evangelist at the train station, expecting a fashionably dressed gentleman whose demeanor matched his reputation. Cole watched closely as the passengers got off the train, but saw no one fitting his mental image. Eventually, an unimpressive old man, shaking with palsy, alighted from the passenger coach. To Cole's dismay, the old man turned out to be 50-year-old William Miller. He regretted inviting Miller. Someone who looked like that couldn't know much about the Bible. More than a little embarrassed, Cole led Miller through the back door of his church and after showing them, him the pulpit, left him there without an introduction and took a seat among the congregation. Miller felt a bit awkward, but proceeded with the service. But if Cole was unimpressed with Miller's appearance, he was impressed with his preaching. After listening for 15 minutes, he arose from the congregation and went up and sat behind Miller on the platform. Miller lectured daily for a week and returned the next month for a second series. The revival was a success, with even Cole being converted to Miller's views. It wasn't the man, but his message. William Miller's message was sincere, logical, and biblical. An ordinary man with a powerful message.